hello guys uh, today i'm going to tell you how you can make a dll uh, file and link it to another c project in lavindo cvi 17 of course so let's begin uh, the first thing you have to keep in mind is that when you are creating to make creating a dll you have to do it as a separate project so let's do that uh, yeah, by default you get an untitled project let's save that save untitled project as I'm going to save it in desktop I've created a folder for this already desktop I'm naming as uh, DLL project Let's create a new C file. Let's create a function test and give it uh, give a parameter a parameterized function named test. Here in the function test, I'm passing an array. I have to keep uh, so that I am trying to print out all the values in the array in that array A. Let's say, uh, save it. Save untitled dot C as. Uh, now you have to add it to add that C file to this project to go here uh, add dll project seed or dll pro dot seed to the project okay now you have to create another header file for this project that contains all uh, the definitions for this method now we, we have just only created a function that accepts an array uh, now you have to define de define this function. Now you have to declare this function somewhere. I'm going to do that in the header file. Uh, when you are creating a DLL uh, you, and you create in a header file, you have to define the methods uh, uh, that is that that are uh, that can be exportable. What I mean that uh, is that when you use it, use this DLL in another project, the method should be visible for that project. So it, to do that, uh, and if you want to learn more, go to Health Contents Index, and in the Index field, you have to uh, type in DLL, and in that uh, you could see a lot of methods. Find, try finding that. Uh, exporting dll function double click that you will see two method include file method and export qualifier method click on the export qualifier method and go through all of this and you can see this method here this is actually an export qualifier method just copy it paste it here 
just type in type in your function name this void test in a if you want to use uh, that this function uh, in a short method you can also use the hash define method to relabel it I am not doing it because I have only one function here in this tutorial uh, so that's it uh, now you have to save the header file save untitled.hs you have to add that header file to this project file Yeah, now you can see this uh, everything is here I will save all the next thing you want to do is you have to compile it for any errors so you are missing an header file for this printf and for loops that nsi.c.h nsi.c underscore c.h is needed so please add it let's compile it again I have no errors so next thing you have to do is go to build target type DLL or dynamic link library you stick that in the, in the configuration mode go to release again go to build and in the target settings you have to click that and you will see a pop-up window opening up keep everything as it is by default uh, and in the exports uh, click change and you will see your header file here please check that uh, and click ok click ok again go to file save all for insurance no, no need for that actually uh, then go to build and take click build again and you will see that uh, that dll pro dot dll successfully created dll pro dot library file successfully created and there is an another file msc msvc also these three all you have to uh, make sure that these things are created successfully so your dll and a library file is created successfully uh, now you can close that uh, close this and uh, create your project Uh, we can create a new project new project create a project in the new workspace do that save this project I'm going to save it in a desktop in a different folder uh, I'm going to name it as link project create a C file uh, in this uh, project you have to give the main function because this is the application that you are supposed to be running and you are going to link this uh, project with the DLL we have created already so let's uh, give a main function test is our function uh, so let's give a parameter is let's say b and, and uh, uh, b is supposed to be an array so it just let's initialize it let's initialize it
let's save the C file Uh, make sure you add that header file that you created in the DLL project which was DLL Pro .h. add the C file to the project save everything save all let's compile it uh, let browse for the DLL product is browse to the location where you saved that DLL project here it is add the directory to the list of include search bar click ok save all the next thing you want to do is you have to add that library file uh, so to do that go to edit go to edit add files to project library go to the dl project uh, uh, directory You can see a DLL Pro dot library here. Double click on that. Now you can see that library is added to this project. Finally, what you have to do is you have to copy that DLL file you have generated to this directory. Uh, let's do that. Here is the DL, this is the DL project directory that you have created already. These are the files, the C file, the worksheet, the DLL file, the header file, the library file, and the project file. In the DL project, you can also include the library that I have created in this uh, release folder. Uh, so I'm, you can also try that, it will also work. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going just just going to do the file to do with the files in the other folder. So let's copy. Copy to the uh, new project, link project that is paste it here. So let's compile it. Uh, you have to add this nsic.h again. Uh, add it. Oops, I uh, forgot to mention what type is B. Let's do that. So everything is compiling okay. Now let's run it. See. Now you, you have actually used the function uh, inside the DLL to print out the elements in the array it has received. See that? So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.